First of all, thank you very much for inviting me to give this talk. My name is Jose Luis Carmona Jimenez, and I'm going to talk about a preprint that is a joint work with Marco Castrillon Lopez. This preprint is called the Ambrosinga Theorem for General Manifolds with Applications to Symplectic Geometry. I'm, I prepare a talk for 20 minutes plus uh, questions. So I, I thought that it was more interesting to talk about ideas besides uh, be precise in definitions and everything. So let's start. What is the first question we, we would like to ask ourselves? Can we find a connection now Latilde such that shape the geometry of an of a homogeneous manifold? I mean, this question is, why to ask this question? I, I was thinking uh, the, the connection in Riemannian geometry that be, better shapes uh, the geometry of being Riemannian is the levitsch vita connection, and it's very well known. And, okay, the word homogeneous, I, I was looking for, uh, can we find a connection that shape the name homogeneous? Which conditions should have this connection? Okay, uh, let, let's say the, back, the setup. We have a homogeneous manifold equipped with a tensor, K, and a connection, Nabla. This is not necessarily the levitsch vita connection. And the action of G lives invariant K and Nabla. So we are looking for a connection with the following properties. Preserve the geometry, that is uh, the parallel transport, preserve the tensor. Uh, the parallel transport of this connection uh, our parallel transport of the other connection, or equivalently, it satisfies this equation. That is, that the uh, group, the, the connection, preserve the, the other connection. And this parallel transport can be identified with actions of the Lie group in the manifold. These are the, the conditions. And this is the connection we are looking for. Okay, this. The answer in Riemannian geometry is well known, and is the classical Ambrosinga theorem that tells us the following. If we have a connected, simply connected, a complete Riemannian manifold, then the following two statements are equivalent. The manifold is Riemannian homogeneous, uh, or equivalently, we can find a linear connection, nabla tilde, that satisfies that main parallel, its curvature, its torsion, and its a metric connection, okay? This is a good connection for homogeneous Riemannian manifolds, in my opinion. So, <laughs> uh, we would like to generalize these results for other geometries. Okay, I, I would like to remark something here, that is, uh, we, um, Dusek, was talking before about this kind of connections, and he was talking about um, the different description that a homogeneous manifold can have. So I'm going to talk about, for example, uh, the real hyperbolic space in dimension n. It has a symmetric um, description, but it also has a non-symmetric description that could be, for example, minus one, a, n, where a and n are the abelian part and impotent part in the Iwasawa decomposition. Okay, oh, oh. over, n. Okay, but this description is isomorphic to a plus n uh, as a Lie group, okay? These two descriptions give us the same Ambrose Singer connection. We will call an Ambrose Singer connection. This is going to be an Ambrose Singer connection, okay? And what happened if we apply this result for the description above in the point one, we will get an Ambrose Singer connection. But if we go from two to one, we are, we are going to get this description. So we are not recovering all information in, in both steps, okay? Just to remark something about this that I feel that is interesting. So, the Ambrose Singer theorem for symplectic manifold. We have a symplectic 
simply connected and complete manifold. It can be almost simplected. Uh, we have a connection on it. Then the following two statements are equivalent. The manifold is reductive homogeneous and the Lie group G preserves uh, the symplectic form and the connection nabla. If and only if the manifold admits a linear complete connection nabla tilde such that satisfies these conditions. And this is the condition related to the uh, linear connection invariance, and, oh, sorry, this is the condition related to the linear connection invariance, and this is the condition related with the symplectic form invariance, okay? And we will call this as manifold. Uh, I, will, I would like to give a picture or how is this theory working, okay? Because here is related homogeneous manifolds, this kind of connections, and there is also an algebraic object, infinitesimal models. We will say that B is a vector space of dimension M, and omega is a symplectic linear element in the vector space of dimension 2M, sorry. We can, we can consider two um, linear homomorphisms, R tilde and T tilde, that these two homomorphisms will correspond to the curvature at torsion of the connection. We will say that this uh, couple of tensor on B is an infinitesimal model. I, I should put here B also, sorry. If it satisfies all these equations, uh, these these are related to uh, torsion and curvature uh, symmetries. These conditions are equivalent to this and the corresponding with torsion. This is the first Bianchi identity. This is the second Bianchi identity. And these two are the corresponding to this, okay? So, we want to relate. Uh, homogeneous manifolds and locally homogeneous manifolds with Ambrose Singer connections and with this kind of infinitesimal models, okay? So, mm, let's continue. How is the picture? First, we have, I, I, in this picture, I want to relate um, the history in Riemannian geometry with the way, with the path in symplectic geometry, okay? So, first step, Nomisu. Uh, in 1954, he said that if, we, if you have a homogeneous manifold, Riemannian manifold, then you can, you can find a complete connection, nabla tilde, that satisfies the, cor the corresponding equations in Riemannian geometry, okay? We did this. This is the path in, the, in our preprint, okay? Uh, how to come back in the Ambrose Singer theorem? If we add the simply connectedness, we, we, get, we get the compact, the, the converse. To go, we don't need the simply connectedness, okay? This is very important because if you have a Riemannian homogeneous manifold, always you can find a, one of these connections, and this is very useful anyway. So, this is as an infinitesimal model. This is very easy because it's only uh, taking this tensor point-wise and all of them satisfy these equations. Okay, hey, before, before this, I'm going to draw this arrow, but this is not true. This is Singer, 1960, the second theorem of Singer, in, in this moment, I, I would like to stop a, a, a second and say thank you again to the organizers because I am in the, in the session in honor to Kowalski. And in this moment, this is the second theorem of Singer. And Kowalski did a counterexample of this theorem in 1990, this preprint, this article is called the, the, a counterexample for the second single theorem, and this is not true. But 
In that moment, uh, Kowalski was working, in my opinion, with, with Tricheri, a lot of work, and uh, Tricheri and Lastraria did this result. This connection is not complete, okay? If the connection is not complete, we, we cannot be sure that we can find a homogeneous manifold, reductive homogeneous manifold, having this infinites infinitesimal model. We only can say that we can find a locally homogeneous, inf uh, locally homogeneous manifold that has this infinitesimal model. Tricheri this this part, and Tricheri complete the, the path uh, in the same year, saying that uh, if you have one of these connections, you have a locally reductive, reductive in this moment, in Riemannian geometry, locally reductive, he gives a definition for locally reductive homogeneous manifold in Riemannian geometry, and he does this equivalence, okay? And this the, is the path in, in symplectic geometry. We also find this. Uh, I would like to note that uh, here, Luhan, I don't remember the name, honestly. Luhan did also this step for, for pseudo Riemannian geometry a uh, few years later. Okay? And we tried to find a definition of reductive locally homogeneous manifold without the Riemannian tensor. Because Tricheri and Luhan use uh, very strongly uh, killing vectors, infinitesimal killing vectors. So we had to do a different definition, but that is current with that two definitions in Riemannian and pseudo-Riemannian geometry. Okay, this is the picture about manifolds, uh, and single connections, and infinitesimal models, and now what is the picture with respect to the isomorphisms? Okay, isomorphisms in the class of symplectic, infinitesimal manifolds. I'm talking about symplectic, but you can put here any tensor, okay? Uh, is, there is a bijective correspondence between isomorphisms in the class of infinitesimal uh, models and isomorphisms in the class of ISM manifolds, okay? I will tell you what is a isomorphism in infinitesimal models is an, a linear application from B to B, B1 to B2, that sends a, the curvature, that sends the um, torsion. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no. that sends the homogeneous structure and that sends the uh, symplectic form. Okay? And an isomorphism in the class of ISM manifold is that if we have two manifolds, uh, M1, omega, nabla, tilde 1, omega super 1, lo voy a poner todo. And M2, nabla no, We can take, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's very big now. <laughs> we can take P and Q, P in M1, Q, for every P and Q in M2, we can take neighborhoods, P and Q, and resist a uh, and locally affine diffeomorphisms between these two neighborhoods. Okay? It's difficult to write here, sorry. <laughs> So we can find uh, uh, the feomorphisms between 
and affine diffeomorphisms with respect of these two connections, and symplectic also that sends one point to another point. Okay, and this is the sense of being locally affine diffeomorphic. So we have this, and we have correspondence in between both things. What time? How much time do I have? Eight minutes? More than eight? For that, I mean, for 20. This gives us a necessary condition to be locally affine diffeomorphic. So, the necessary condition. Uh, I'm going to put the background, everything. We have a symplectic IS manifold with a fedos of connection. In this time, we are going to say that it's fedos of this connection, that is, that the torsion, the, the connection is symplectic, and the torsion of this connection is, is zero. Zero. Um, then there is a connection nabla tilde that, 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 that satisfies this with respect to the curvature torsion and so on, I said. So then we see this pointwise. Uh, we do the, this in the identification. Uh, we can consider the space of tensor of torsion type, this. And the space of tensors of homogeneous structures, oh, homogeneous. <laughs> and mm, this part of this tensor comes that S of omega is zero. The action of S on omega is zero. Okay. Then we have this, and we, if, we, if we decompose this space of tensors in terms of symplectic automorphisms, okay, uh, we will get necessary condition to, to be in the same, being in the same class is a necessary condition to be isomorphic, okay? This, this is what, uh, I don't know who did that. I, I know this from Tricheri and Banecki book. And they decompose the space of homogeneous structure in three types. And one of these types is naturally reductive uh, homogeneous manifolds. So we do this same, but with the torsion and with the homogeneous structure type tensors. And we get this decomposition in, in terms of the torsion. I mean, we did this for almost symplectic manifolds. And we get that the manifold is symplectic if, it, if the torsion uh, belongs, is in, in symplectic homogeneous, if the torsion belongs to here. Uh, symplectic. Okay? And we studied here you have some kind of naturally reductive, I don't know. I think it's different because the torsion is skew-symmetric, but uh, the definition is not by the Riemannian form, so it's not, it's, uh, it's not naturally reductive. The decomposition of homogeneous structures, we get this. So in this point, we decide to think about what happened if we, if we have a uh, homogeneous structure of linear, of linear type in a fedos of homogeneous manifold. And we did this in the last part of the article, and we get that if we have a fedos of homogeneous manifold equipped with a fedos of homogeneous structure of linear type, that is with this expression, then the manifold is foliated by leaves locally defined by, the, by a Hamiltonian, by defi defined by the Hamiltonian equation, this one. This is the contraction. And the connection nabla restricts to the leaf. And in particular, the leaves are totally geodesic submanifolds, and the leaves are flat manifolds. Okay. We get this. In that point, we try to find some examples. Uh, we find two examples. I will show just one. In, in dimension two, 
we got this. Uh, I think that I'm not going to be in details, but the Lee group that adds is the uh, the, the the connected component of the identity in the affine real the affine transformation of the real numbers. Okay, is the Lee group that adds here? Yes, um, present of this research topic. I think. I found this research topics very interesting. So I think that I would like to show you some kind of preprint or papers that are interesting right now. Uh, I show, oh, I think this is changed now. This, this is going to be weird. <laughs> because <laughs> you will see. <laughs> um, uh, I, this paper, uh, for me, I think it's amazing. Agricola Horf, Horfman Allow, Invariant Spinner on, of homo, on Homogeneous Spheres. Uh, I think that uh, it's incredible how less is known about the different descriptions of homogeneous manifolds, okay? Uh, in, in, a, in a paper that we published this, this year, we, uh, we did all homogeneous geometries in the complex hyperbolic space. Uh, Marco Castrillo, uh, Gadea, and Swan did the, the classification in real hyperbolic space. And in spheres, uh, there is also in this classification. This is very, uh, is, is known a lot of years ago, but they didn't study this Ambrose Singer connections, and now, uh, Agricola, Hoffman, and Lowe did n n the study in, of the Ambrose Singer connection, and with these powerful homogeneous structures, get the invariant spinners and relate these invariant spinners with killing spinners on homogeneous spheres. And this is very inter I found this very interesting. Oh. Uh, for example, the paper of uh, Alepsevsky and Santi that shows that homo homogeneous symplectic manifolds are now being studied. And I would like to note also the paper of a storm that classifies seven and eight dimensional naturally reductive spaces. This, I, I would like to note this, this paper because he used uh, infinitesimal models and I found infinitesimal models a very powerful tool to all these computations. And uh, I think that it's nice to take a look of, of this. Um, the bibliography, the main bibliography. Uh, I studied, I, I put here the, the paper of oh, the counterexample of the second Singer theorem. And I also put here the book of Kowalski where I started to study these Ambrose Singer connections, and I found it very interesting. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs>